concerning having no place to stay, walking the streets, being ill, and all of that. And it broke her heart because she couldn't do anything about it because she was dependent on these people to support her and her children. Now that Megan was responsible for taking your kids to a safe place. That's all I know. But what I know is Megan and Maud are made of the same demon. They plotted this thing for a very long time. I want to reconcile with my husband. I want my marriage back. But unfortunately, she got so sick and she was so dependent on these people. She's been fed so many lies that she couldn't think clearly. You have to understand, and you know she's gone through cancer before, God has healed her. The medication affects your judgment, firstly. Secondly, she was in so much pain that she didn't have energy to fight this thing. Her words were to me, I will never forget this. Mark will sort this out. Mark will tell the truth. Mark will fix this. It's just going to be a matter of time. That was her words. I know that you were a very good provider for your family. I know you were a very good father, a very good husband. So if you really go and sit and you go and look at these things. Now, I have a very analytic brain because I'm an accountant. You will see that those letters, those messages, those things, it was not her personality. They, when she went home to reunion, that was the, the biggest start of your downfall. This was not for her downfall, but for your downfall, because I wanted to get rid of you. And she said she doesn't know when she's going to come back. She's got to go and clear her mind and try and make sense of all of these things that has happened. Not for one moment. Uh, she was happy to move out of your house, to be separated from you, to not have you there in her darkest, deepest hour. No. It was very difficult for her. Because she knew she could always rely on you. Your... your a person that you really need to investigate is Megan. She played a huge role in this. She wrote letters. I know Meg told me she wrote the letters and she posted some of those letters. Not Meg. Go and read what Meg's written previously before she got sick. Even the first time when she got sick. It's not her language. That's not who she is. Or she was. To give up a marriage of 25 years was not easy for her. 
but you will sweep this lawns by Megan. And that is where your biggest problem is lying. Everybody is now concentrated.